this is just my little interpretation of a serpent curve. Very, very simple. Again, filler the beef from Rob Rattery, uh, Welsh, Welsh beef. We've got some incredible local shrimps. These are from uh, fishermen in Abu Dhabi. The port called Genesis, these are amazing. And these are a real delicacy on me. For me, these are the best uh, prawns, shrimps in the world. Just some broccoli greens out the garden, which is gonna serve as like a salad, and some parsley. So the first thing to do is get these steaks cooking. So in a pan, nice hot pan, Get up the temperature and then we're just going to put a little bit of salt on these steaks. Flip them over, a bit of salt on the other side, <clears throat> and then just in the pan, just a bit of sunflower in there. So I'm just going to flip these over. As you can see, it's nice and golden brown on that side, and then we're just going to pop these in the oven 100 degrees. Cool, so the beef has been in the oven 100 degrees for about five minutes now, so we're just going to check that, see what it's like. And the way that I like to check meat, which is what we do at the restaurant, is you get a little skewer. I mean, obviously, it's completely up to you how you want it to cook. Some people want it well done, some people want it medium, some people want it rare. I just get a little skewer and I go inside, then just on the top of my lid. And when it's just warm, it's like Rare, medium rareish, and this is exactly where we want it. So that can rest now, it's perfect. So, as that sits and rests, what I've done is I've peeled them beautiful shrimp. Unbelievable. These for me are like as special as the piece of beef, and um, they really are incredible. Although the beef is very good. I mean, what we're going to do is we're going to make a little very, very simple uh, garlic prawn with butter. So we've got some butter here, just a bit of unsalted butter, a little bit of butter, that's better. And then what we've got here is some minced garlic. So you can either put it through a proper mincer or you can just chop this really fine. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cook this out very gently. There's about four or five cloves of garlic there. I like my garlic prawns, very garlicky, I think that's what it's all about. And you want to cook that for about five minutes, just until it's nice and soft. It's cooked all the way through and you just got a beautiful garlic flavor. So this garlic's been cooking nicely in there now for about five minutes. The butter's just nice and formal with no color. So what we're going to do with that there, is we're going to just let that cool down a little bit. Because these shrimps are so good. I eat them raw, they're really, really fatty and amazing. So you don't want to overcook them. So I'm just going to put them in there when it's warm. So they cook on the outside very slightly, but they've still got that beautiful, tender, fatty rawness. So while we're waiting for that to cool down, put some nice parsley out of the garden. We're just going to chop that up. And nice garlic and parsley flavor. Now normally with like a classic garlic prawn, you would squeeze a load of lemon juice in there. But I don't like the way the lemon cooks the prawns. So what I'm going to do instead is I've got some nice pickled shallots here for acidity on the dish instead of the lemon juice. So we're going to keep the sauce just really nice and buttery. So you see now that sauce has stopped boiling. So we can go in there with the shrimp. And all that parsley. Just let that sit for a couple of minutes now and just let it really, really, really gently cook them for the food. Awesome. So our steak is just being rested nicely and it's nice and medium rare, medium ish there. So, what we're going to do with this again, just because it's what I love to do, is we're going to just put this on the barbecue for a few seconds. Just to finish it off, get it nice and crispy, warm it back up. And then we're going to serve this dish. So we'll just open it up, get your barbecue nice and hot. Cheers there now. There you go. So, we put this dish together. So we're just going to slice this steak up. Slice it into five or six pieces. 
just like that. And then we're just going to give the inside of each each slice of that it just needs a bit of salt. Perfect. And then we've got these greens from the garden. They're just broccoli greens. We have sprout broccoli grown in the spring. At the moment, it's all the, all the broccoli itself is gone, but you've still got these beautiful tender leaves. So if you just put these on the plate, like so, and then when you put the steak on top, it'll almost cook the broccoli. The broccoli on top. Beef over the top of that. And that'll just sit there and that just gently pours that lettuce. So you've got your prawns. Your beautiful, beautiful shrimp. They're just cooked, really, really tender, just warmed. And we're just going to spoon that. All over the top of the fillet. And this is so good, this dish. I could just eat this dish all day long. And we're just going to finish it with some of these. It's like I said before, some pickle slots instead of the lemon. Just to give that nice acidity. Nice bit of crunch. Really, really fresh. And that's it. That's our version of uh, Welsh fillet of beef surfing turf. Thank you very much.